Telangana's political landscape gears up for rural local body elections as the current tenure concludes on January 31st. The State Election Commission has initiated preparations of for polls in 12,769 gram panchayats, potentially increasing to 12,993 pending governor approval. The SEC plans to release notifications in late December, conducting polling in three phases. The 2019 law mandates the reservations of for gram panchayat elections for a decade. The upcoming year 2024 is marked by series of elections beginning with the gram panchayats in January followed by subsequent polls until May. The DGCA has approved the PJTS AU Drone Academy to establish a remote pilot training organization RPTO in collaboration with the Marut Drone Tech. The academy associated with uh, Professor Jay Shankar Telangana State Agriculture University will offer agreed drone pilot training for 10 years focusing on crop specific standard operating protocols of uh, pesticide spraying in Telangana. The course will cover drone pilot training, safety, risk management and, and regulatory compliance. Farmers in the Kadam Peddur Mandal Center under the Kadam Narayan Reddy project face the prospect of another crop holiday due to decreased water levels. Leakage and damage to gates have reduced the project's storage capacity, prompting irrigation officials to advise against relying on project to watch out for crops. A decision on a crop holiday is pending and farmers seek government intervention to address the water shortage. Repair proposals await sanction funds. The Greater Warangal Municipal Corporation successfully operates a biomining plant at the Kakatiya Solid Waste Management Park, processing 900 metric tons of a legacy waste daily. With specialized machines, the process categorizes waste into soil, plastic, wood and metal. This development addresses environmental concerns and pollution caused by burning garbage. The ongoing biomining aims to neutralize 1.5 lakh metric tons by January and emphasizing adherence to waste management standards and utilizing byproducts in cement factories and agriculture. The Telangana state government is considering legal action against Kalishpuram lift irrigation schemes contract agencies if they fail to fulfill agreements and undertake necessary repairs. Irrigation Minister N Uttam Kumar Reddy warned LNT Group Director SV Deshai about uh, interior work at the Medigadda barrage emphasizing accountability for public money and instructing officials to assess overall work quality and repair costs Private money lenders in Medpally allegedly obstructed the funeral of a borrower's father demanding immediate loan repayment The resident Puluri Srikanth reportedly owed uh, around uh, rupees 1.70 crore The money lenders allowed the funeral to proceed only after receiving a written assurance that he would clear the debt by selling his property promptly. Former MLA Guvala Balaraju's arrest in Achampet triggered tension as he visited the constituency for the first time after elections. Police stopped his vehicle at Veldanda leading to protests by Bharat Rashtra Samiti leaders and workers who condemned the arrest as illegal and deliberate by the Congress government demanding his release.